Hi guys, welcome to another video. Yeah, I'm still in the same spot. If you saw the video before this or after this, I'm still gonna be in the same spot. So I wanted to come to you today to show you some um, items that I have purchased within the last week or so. Some makeup, some hygiene. So let's jump right into it because y'all know I don't like to be long with anything. The first thing you all saw, I think from my ELF video, when I did the Elf Cookies and Dream video, I showed y'all these brushes that were in Walmart by Wet n Wild blending brushes for 98 cents. So this is how many I picked up, which would be about five, six of them. So I always pick up these brushes because they're whenever I see them, they're hardly in stock. It's always empty. So when it's full, I pick them up for 98 cents. I love these brushes. They blend out my eyeshadow um really really good and they're cheap so i have no problem with it y'all know i always say excuse me if i sound congested my sinuses are killing me but um i always tell y'all i rarely spend a lot of money on eyeshadow brushes and it's because i can get them for 98 cents so why would i spend 30 dollars on the brush when they're 98 cents somewhere <laughs> The next thing I got from Walmart is also this Black Radiance Brilliant Effects um, eyeshadow palette. Yeah, I know I picked up the other blue one. I'm not sure right now exactly what that was. I can't remember what that one is called. But this was like $6.98. It comes with a mirror. I'm not, I won't blind you. And these are the eyeshadows. Like really, really pretty, right? We're going to do a look soon. Y'all know I have to build myself up with these uh bless you i have to build myself up with these colors because y'all know i'm a new girl <laughs> and when i see colors i run the other way but i should i just have some tweezers yeah. they made shorts you can't get in there let's see Okay, so these are the shadows. Let's watch a couple that, um, this purple. Illuminate. It's pretty, so far it's pretty. Let's see. Um, limelight. Mmm. Y'all. Let's do one more. We'll do two more. Go bold. And one more. Let's do this blue shade. Amplify. Um, we might be doing a look sooner than later. Right? We might do a look sooner than later. Okay. See, $6. I tell you, you do not have to spend... All that money on eyeshadows. Look at there. You do not. So we'll be playing with that soon. Walmart edition. Now my hands are all. The next thing I picked up is let me do keep doing Walmart then. Is some nails. Some nails. Some nail polish from Sally Henson Instant Dry. And I picked up this yellow shade in Maca Banana 531. That's pretty, right? That's a pretty, that's gonna be a pretty spring and summer color right there. And the clear as the top coat. And then I picked up this new shade in Taupe Priority. 133 and these are like $4.83 so I'm gonna take these nails off I have to soak them off to give my nails a break and in the meantime I'll just be polishing my own nails but I fell in love with this yeah I know my one of my favorite colors is yellow so yeah most definitely gonna be using that Target 
No, one more thing from Walmart. Incognito. I'm not sure if this is new or not, but it's by Wet n Well Mega Last Incognito Concealer in the shade Medium Golden. And this was $2.98. So let's see. I haven't even opened any of this stuff, y'all. I'm horrible. So let's see. Okay, wet and wild because these drugstores be winning. Oh, that's pretty. That's gonna be a pretty highlight shade. I know wet and wild. Mm, kind of bright though. Uh, uh, kind of bright, huh? I might have to dot, dot, dot that one. Target. What did I get from Target? Okay, this was on clearance so i'm not even sure if it's new or not it's a black opal even true flawless liquid foundation and 420 nutmeg black opal is one of those drugstore brands that i fell in love with when i first started doing makeup so i wanted to give this a try and what does it say about it? Lightweight skin brightening mineral liquid formula conditions, corrects, and evens tone with a luminous velvet finish for all skin types. Y'all know I don't do luminous and I don't do velvet, but we're still going to give this a try. Hopefully it's my color. Because I ordered this offline. So hopefully. It seems like I remember having something from them and it was nutmeg. So that's why I went with nutmeg. But that's the color right there if you can see it. So it looks like it's, oh yeah. That's going to be an okay shade. That's fine. It blended in. That's going to be an okay shade. You can't even tell. It's on my arm. So yeah, that's going to be an okay shade. The next, this is new. And it's black, black opal also. And it's a brightening concealer. In the shade, this is in the shade Proper Penny. So I'm gonna put it right next to the Wet and Wild one so we can kind of get a comparison. This is kind of darker, but still not a bad shade. So that's how it looks. Proper Penny is at the bottom, so yeah, you can tell the difference. The Wet and Wild is a little more cool toned, and Proper Penny has some golden in it. So. We'll give this a try. It doesn't really have much about it. I didn't read anything up about it. Only I know that it's new. So and it says brightening concealer. So we'll see. The next thing I picked up. I was checking my emails one day. And this company was on there. And I said well I haven't ordered from them in a while. Let me order from them. They had 30% off. And it's Ole Hankerson. Ole Hankerson. So this is the Brightening All Day, the Truth Banana Bright Face Primer. Instantly illuminates, hydrates, and improves foundation wear all day with vitamin C. I was looking for something with vitamin C, and if I could find a primer that had it, that was a plus for me. This was $20 something, I think. But it looks like this. And we're going to give it a try. I used to have their Vitamin C Moisturizer. And it says, can be worn alone or under makeup or dabbed on top of makeup as a highlight. Oh, so y'all know it's really luminous, huh? If you can wear it as a highlight. Wait a minute. Let me see, y'all. It's creamy, like a moisturizer. Y'all probably won't be able to see nothing. Does it just smell like anything? No, it just smells like a moisturizer. So we'll give that a try. Y'all know I love primers and if it can do me some benefits, then that's even better. Now I've had this before and I decided to reorder it, but it's the Ole Hickerson Glow 2 Dark Spot Toner. And it looks like this and how many ounces? This was $33 and I got a 10 fluid ounce. This is excellent. I love the way it smells too. <laughs> I know that's crazy, right? yeah i love the way it smells but this is a real oh this is it says jumbo this is a really good if you get a dark spot on your um face to help clear it up you know for a pimple or anything and i have a pimple going on situation going on right now so whenever it decides to leave me alone i'll use this dark 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 
spot toner to get rid of it. So that was just two of the things that I ordered from them. So I won't need that for a while. We're coming up to the last thing, guys. Beauty supply store. If you saw my other video, then you'll know that I'm working on a wig. I colored, inspired by um, Larasia Andrea. So yeah, I'm always looking at her videos thinking I can do the same thing <laughs> with my wigs. But I brought these rollers because I wanted, you know, not a tight curl. I wanted like a very loose curl, but I wanted it to still be curled along with the duck clips to clip it in place or whatever so i'll be trying that i'm not quite sure yet if i'm gonna film it guys because y'all know i don't even know what i'll be doing i just kind of like be going with the flow of things and i brought two nothing special they were 59 cent two maxi eyeliners one in black and one in dark brown but to use it as like a brow to do my brows or whatever so we'll see Okay, guys, let's see if we can wrap this up. I went stop for a minute, and you see what I do in my spare time? That's going to be a pretty color, right? I was going to take the nails off anyway, but I said, oh, let me try and see how it looks. That's going to be a really pretty color. Okay, so the next thing, I stopped by uh, TJ Maxx yesterday, and I saw Re My Re. Who I watch on YouTube she talked about this palette right here the remix 2000s I guess it is dance palette from BH cosmetics and she said that I could find it at either Marshalls or TJ Maxx I found it at TJ Maxx and they didn't have a they didn't have a price on it so I was able to get it she had to give me a price I was able to get it for $5.99 and it's a different kind of palette i love the purple shades in it because you all know that i love purple anyway so but brie talked about this bootylicious brown shade she said that it was really pretty to put as an all over shade so it's a very light shade you know but it's pigmented just like she said it was i hope it's focusing don't get crazy and stop focusing on me so it's pigmented just like she said it was oh that's pretty look at there it's kind of like a mustard color shade but that's a really pretty okay so yeah i know i'm gonna try single lady in this this purple glittery shade right here let's try that it looks like this oh brie was on to something with this palette no wonder she was like i'm gonna go back and get me two more that's why Look at that purple. Y'all know I love me some purple. Coming up next is a purple look. So, yeah, I'm going to try Milkshake. Because Milkshake is, it looks like it could be like a navy blue. It look, It's navy blue. When I look at it in the monitor, it's navy blue. I was about to say blue. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my goodness. Is it navy blue or is it black? Y'all, y'all not ready for this. Look at this. Y'all see the pigment on that? Even I was, oh no, I was so not ready. I was so not ready. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I wasn't ready for that. It is some kickback because it did kind of like flake up a little bit, but that doesn't bother me at all. Okay, guys, so I only picked up two things from TJ Maxx, which was the eyeshadow palette and this journal. I love journals. That's something you'll know about me is I love journals. And this says he has a plan for me, Jeremiah 29, 11 prayer journal. And it's like a dark gray and it was $4.99. I, I just finished my other one and... This says, this is cute. Faith can move mountains, mountains, Matthew 17, 20. My prayer for the day, what God, what is God telling or teaching me today? So that's what it says in each thing. My prayer for today and what God is telling or teaching me today, which is this part right here. This is nice and it has the little, well, 
I can remember where I left off at. But this is one of the things that I do every day religiously. The first thing I do when I wake up is write in my journal, thanking the Lord for whatever I need to thank him for, being grateful, um, just inspiration and guidance and just thankfulness, just thankfulness. You got to learn to be thankful for whatever you have, whatever you don't have. Sometimes you got to be thankful for what you don't have because what you don't have, you didn't need it. So just be thankful about everything. So that's why I love these. Last thing, this is the goody, 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 goody stuff. Okay. First thing, I went to Target. And I went looking for something particular, and of course they didn't have it. So I ended up with this Tree Hut Tropical Glow um, Scrub, right? These are $7.99 in Target. So let's see, hopefully I can smell enough. It smells tropical. It smells like... <sighs> it smells like a good pina colada. Yeah, it smells like a pina colada. So this is made with shea butter, capacho butter, pistachios, and guarana extracts. Smells divine. I also picked up another one, vitamin C, vitamin C shea sugar scrub. And I always tend to like things that are very light smelling, not overwhelming. And this is the same thing. This is very light. And what does it have in it? Because I'm just talking. Um, shea butter, vitamin C, and alpha hydroxy acid reveals brighter looking skin. So it smells like, but it also, if it's going to give my skin a glow and just brighten it. These really work well because y'all know I'm kind of on the fence about using different body care and skin care items because everything seems to do something to me. But these right here, after you use this in the shower, like your skin is so buttery soft. I really was skeptical about trying these and I tried one maybe about a month ago and been hooked on them ever since. So I decided to pick up the vitamin C shea butter uh, whipped cream also. And this was $7.99. So this smells just like the, um, hold on, I got no, just like the, it's really, it's soft, it's moussey like. It smells just like the scrub. I don't know how long lasting it is. Oh, it's like really, it's kind of like jelly. Cause you see nothing is hardly on there. It's almost like jelly. Let's see. Yeah, very light summery scent to me. As y'all can see, I keep saying summer, so I must be ready for the summer. The next thing I picked up, which is new because I went to Target for this. Target didn't have it, so I ended up at Ulta. Target's is $7.99. This one is $10.99 at Ulta. So it's the Candid Lemon Tree Hut Scrub. And this is a new fragrance. I think it came out within the last week or so. So yeah. Uh, let's see. Shea Sugar Scrub. It really doesn't say... You know, well, I guess it's lemon, so that will be lemon. I saw a review on it. I'm not going to lie. And they said, oh, it smells like cleaner. But y'all know I love lemon. So let's see. Nah, you can smell the candy part in it. It's not straight lemon. You could smell the little sprinkle of like vanilla and citrusy. Like, it's not like a pine saw smell. Probably got it on my nose. This smells good. It's different. It's different. It smells like a lemon candy. Like a lemon head. That's what it smells like. Yeah, that's different. Okay, guys. So, last one. I had to go to my bathroom to get this one because I have been using it. I could not wait to do this haul with y'all. I had to use it. And it's the scrub. But this one is in pineapple and this one is new also came with 
in the last two weeks or so and made with shea butter pineapple and polyglutamate polyglutamate acid when i tell you this is everything this smells like well where i'm from we call them thrills y'all might call them ices but this smells just like a strawberry thrill i mean strawberry pineapple thrill this is straight pineapple like i've been using it in the shower and the whole bathroom just smells like pineapple uh beach with your little pineapple in your cup and this this is the definition of i'm probably going to show my age right now but this is the true definition of calgon take me away if you know then you remember that commercial growing up like calgon this is calgon take me away in a bottle and they, I got the last one, but I'm most definitely going to get me at least two or three more of the pineapple scents. This scent is amazing. It's amazing. And it lingers on you afterward. I won't say for a very long time, but it just exfoliates your skin. It makes your skin so soft and so smooth. And you smell like fresh pineapples. Like this right here, they did something right here. My next one, what I'm looking for is the strawberry scented one. Target and Ulta both were sold out of the strawberry one. I'm trying not not, not to order it online because I'm like, I don't need to order a scrub from offline. Like I should be able to go in the store and pick up a scrub. But if I can't find it, then I'll eventually just order it offline because you all know I love strawberries. Also, I love strawberries. So yeah, that was just a quick haul of items that I have been picking up here and there. As always, you know, you're welcome to drop down in the comments and let me know of any new finds of makeup or body care, anything that you have been loving and you picked up recently. And of course, I'll give it a try myself. Y'all know, don't give me no suggestions. Don't give me no ideas. I'm trying to stay away from the stores. So yeah. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in my next video. I said that. Bye guys. <laughs>